Hey guys, so in this video we'll create classic rarity system for our items. It is being used by most of the RPG games today and is actually quite simple to make. So, first thing that we need to do is create new enumeration. So just right click, go to blueprint and create enumeration. This one will be called rarity underscore E. Open that up. We will create some entries here. And now first one will be common, second one is uncommon, rare, epic and legendary. Feel free to create as many as you like, but I'm just following a classic concept. So. Save this and what we can do now is go to our item info. Here we will add a new variable. This one will be rarity and it will be type of the rarity enumerator that we created. Now save it. We can close these two th things and now go to items data table and here we can just change rarity for all of the items. So iron axe, I would say it looks like maybe uncommon item, iron sword will be rare, wooden club will be epic, rock blade will be common I'll do steel helmet uh, epic plate armor will be legendary plate pants um, can be epic gloves I'll do uncommon and boots can be well we don't have a lot of rare so save it and now what we can do is go to our inventory icon, so in the widgets, open the inventory icon. And here we need to create some small widget that will tell us what rarity it is. So you got few options. If you get the image here, I'll just I'll just show you first one. You don't have to follow this part. We'll just add it to the canvas panel. We can make it something like 30 and 30. Change this to color red, just so we can see it better. And now what you could do is go to transform. And you could angle it at 45 degrees. Now move it to position X minus 15, so in a half and minus 15. And now here on a canvas panel, we could select clipping and we'll clip to bounce, which will remove the rest of it. And now on the item icon, we would have a rarity color, which we can set to different ones. Uh, problem with this will be that in our equipment slots, we do have a round button and it just wouldn't look that good but if you want to work a way around it this is one way of doing it so having it in a corner but I probably prefer if we do a circle so I'll delete this, I'll get a new one we will copy the image into canvas panel I'll change this to only 20 times 20. I'll make, I'll do draw as rounded box. Tint, I'll change for red so we can see it. 20 is probably too big, so maybe 10. I just want a small indicator in the corner. I'll move position to uh, four and four. And now you could actually have it in the corner, which is 
it's quite small but it's not as intrusive as when you have a whole corner so I don't know whatever you prefer you can also create in a Photoshop maybe like a frame and then just add it to the canvas panel and it would be the whole frame but I found that it, it can be quite bright and everything so I just like little indicator in a corner so what we can do now is go to our player blueprint so go to blueprints player blueprint and in here we can create a new function and this will be called get rarity color and what we're going to do here we're going to create new input it will be item info type item info s and we will break this open we will switch on the rarity so drag from rarity and do switch connect it here and I will create a color for each of these and the reason we're doing a function for it because we will be using it in a lot of different things including our tooltip and all of the equipments and stuff like that so instead of creating every single color in each of those like we can have a function so here we will do make slate uh, slate color is it slate make slate color we will drag from the slate color and promote it to local variable this will be local color now connect it here copy it five times because we need to set different color for each rarity and now we can just set color uh, you can obviously check on the internet and maybe copy the colors as a hex value or something and just paste it here but what I'm going to do is uncommon will be kind of gray can make it a little bit bluish so it's not as boring then common will be standard green sorry uncommon don't make it too bright though so something like this turn it down then our rare will be blue so blue again turn it a little bit down for epic we will do the ones that is already set pretty much so you just need to kind of turn it down and now for legendary I will do something between yellow and orange more towards orange and again turn it a bit down a bit darker there we go and now you just need to add return node so return node and connect all of these here drag in the local color get it and connect it to return node that will create output and we name this uh, rarity color so all this function does is takes an item and then gives you the rarity color we can compile and save now in our inventory icon what we can do is first we will bind the visibility because we don't want to have this on our empty icons so search for visibility bind and create binding we will check if item info so get item info break it open and check if there is a valid class so if there is actually item in it uh, is valid class branch b click and if there is an item in this inventory icon we return visible if it's not copy this paste this 
and we hide it. Compile and save. Go back to designer. In here we need to get the brush and bind the brush. We'll create a binding. Drag this back and drag from the return value and make slate brush. Here we need to get the player reference. So we got it created in the inventory icon. So get it. Now get the rarity color function. Connect it here. And now from rarity color we can just connect it to tint because it's the same type of variable. Compile and save. And now we haven't passed it any item info, so just get the item info and connect it here. And now if you play the game, you don't have anything in the inventory, you pick up some items and they have a rarity. Except for it's not round as we created a little circle so the reason for that is because here actually it resets it because we need to draw it as rounded box compile and save and now it should work so as you can see i i, I don't know if you prefer the triangle or you prefer this one but i think it looks quite nice and now we can also add it to this tooltip. So we can open our tooltip. So go to widgets, tooltip widget, and here we'll bind this background color here. So select not the first border but the second one. We will bind the brush. So create the binding. And we will do same thing here, except for we don't need to check if it's valid. So we will first we need to get a player reference. So go to event graph and on construct do cast to player. And drag from object and get player character. Can delete this too. And promote this to a variable called player reference and now when we have the reference we can just go back to get background function or open it here we can make slate brush we can get the item info uh, drag in the player reference and get the rarity color Connect it here and don't forget to connect the item info. And now connect the color to tint. Compile and save. And now if we pick up the items and go over it, we actually got the colors. You can see it's some of them are quite hard to read. So one thing we can change is in our tooltip, go to designer, select this name of the item and in the font or like in appearance, you got the shadow color, open it up and change alpha to one. And you will get a small shadow. I think it's set to one pixel as a default. And we can do the same thing for item type. So click on shadow color and make alpha one. That will give it the outline and you can probably see it much better. Yeah, you can already tell. I don't really like this uh, common color just want to have something like this, something like we had before. So maybe uh, we can copy the one from the widget. So tooltip widget and it's the one from the second border. 
except for now we got the background set so you can remove the binding copy this color then bind it again to get background and now I will go to play blueprint now problem is I can't paste it here so it doesn't matter you can just make it a little bit between blue and light blue and I noticed the green is quite bright so maybe turn it down that's all good I don't have a green one uh, looks much better and obviously still don't worry about the stats or anything because we'll make it nicer, we'll make it smaller and everything but the top part is pretty much finished so it will look like this and now what we can do is add it to our equipment slots as well so open the equipment slot widget uh, Check this canvas panel and set the padding to 2 because I think it's overlapping the outside one. 4 actually. Because this is just the border of the button. Uh, so padding 4 and now we can actually copy the icon from the inventory icon. So go to designer, copy this paste it in the canvas panel just move it to 4 and 4 and now we can also copy the binding so go to design sorry to graph and get uh, uh, get brush so this one the last function copy back to equipment slot graph click here on function and paste we got the item info and player reference set up here with the same name so we don't have to change anything just compile and save uh, we also need to set visibility so designer check this image find visibility and create binding this one will be get item info, break it open, check if it's valid, class, do a branch, and if it's true, it's visible, copy, paste, if it's not, it's hidden, compile and save play the game and now if you pick up everything you got it color coded and if you equip it the color doesn't work and what have we done here so if you go to your equipment slot got it visible we haven't created the binding so we just copied it so go to your image and bind the brush to uh, get brush play the game and now it's all good and that's how you do rarity system quite simple and we can move on to the next video See ya!